What's up, everybody? It's your boy Earthquake. You know, King the Block is what it needs to be known. Yo, what's up? This is CC Sabathia here. Um, I just want to let everybody know I'm a big fan of football. Love King of the Block. Know about rivalries. I'm a big Raider fan. Raiders, Broncos is a huge rivalry. But I just want everybody to, to understand the message of the movie. <laughs> yeah, we got a wrench kick. One of the, some of the rivalries that I grew up watching as we're here today. Like at Kent McKinley, Kent McKinley, Cincinnati Molar, Cincinnati Princeton. What up, Mr. Man Guy Tori? I want y'all to check out a hot new story. King Block. I, I did I actually did a speaking engagement with Cincinnati Molar and, and for a welcoming gift, they played the whole game in front of me while we did it. Yo, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you ain't watching this, you ain't watching nothing. So make sure you check it out and tell them I sent you. Well, I've always felt that rivalries are, are what get you up in the morning. And it's either you're gonna win and advance and go on to win a state championship, or you're gonna lose and go home and watch them go on and win a state championship. Hey, Arnold Franklin was a beast. Come from two different backgrounds, which, which was great. I'm black, of course, he was white. He was one of the ones we prepared for. They always had all these super athletes. You know, we were just the men of molar. Princeton, you know, the city school that would dare face one of the GCL powerhouses. We were the public school and they were the private school. The thing I like best about Carolina is that when we ride and share our stories going up and down 75. Uh, it's a long drive down there. There were records set. We're driving cars on the Mars tonight. If, we, if we've heard he was coming, we would go get as much money as we could. Two guys just trying to get home, enjoying each other, having fun. We just we just hit it off as friends. Because we did we threw all that stuff out the window when we hung out. It, it's, and it's probably been 10 years, so I haven't seen him in a while. But my understanding that with prostate cancer, if it runs in, you know, family. So if, you know, God forbid you have it. They came back with uh, prostate cancer. I didn't even know I had prostate cancer, man. I mean, your head immediately goes, oh my gosh, why? Because you want to go to all the negative stuff, I think, because then we're not surprised. But if you sit in that world, it, you're miserable. I was still working out. I'm a 5 a.m. workout guy. You know, when he goes in for this uh, biopsy, there's, uh, there's no reason to panic. My dad is like the strongest person I know. We will laugh at everything because that's who we are. Somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. Let the other guy lose. When you got a friend, you, you just got a friend. The tests for uh, cancer came back. Well, we increased his life insurance policy, so whatever happens is Actually, good. We are trying. good. No. <laughs>